Hello, everyone. Uh, the topic of my uh, talk is consistent media sampling via extremal process. This is a joint work with Dr. Ping Li and Dr. Wei Jie Zhao from Baidu Research and Professor Samara Niski from Cornell University. So before this paper, we have a series, series of work on the Jakarta similarity, GMM kernel, and consistent media sampling. We, deeply, we are deeply grateful to many researchers in search theory and machine learning who have contributed to the great works in the Mima session and consistent media sampling. So for two data vectors, Z and V, we can define their correlation, vertical science similarity, as rho here. And if these two data vectors are non negative, we can define the mean max similarity or the Jakarta similarity as the sum of the dimension wise minimum or the sum of the dimension wise maximum. So the chart, so the Jacquard has no training parameter and it's, it is originally defined only for non negative data. So uh, by this data transformation technique, we can uh, make uh, the Jacquard applicable to negative data. And we call this generalized mean max kernel. It is an effective measure of data similarity as shown through an extensive experimental study on kernel or SVM classification. So basically we test, we compare the GMM kernel with the RBF kernel on extensive data sets. So from the results presented in these tables, we see that uh, GMM outperforms the RBF kernel on many data sets. And from the figures of test accuracy against uh, the regularization parameter C in SVM, we further confirm the advantage of GMM on many data sets. So basically, first we see that both the GMM kernel and the RBF kernel, which are non-negative kernels, substantially improve the linear SVM. And we also should note, note that the RBF kernel has a tuning parameter and the presented results are actually the test accuracy of the best tuned RBF kernel. So that means that the tuning free GMM kernel outperforms the best tuned RBF kernel in many cases, but we are not satisfied with only comparing with the RBF kernels. So did more experiments on deep neural nets and tree methods. Basically, we compare with four variants of uh, uh, gradient boosting trees. For GMM kernels, actually, we can add some tuning parameters to make, to make them more powerful. So here, we consider three variants of tunable GMM kernels uh, in the form of exponential, power, or both. We see that the tunable GMM kernels can be strong competitors to deep nets and tree methods. And besides the extensive experimental results, we also have we also have some nice theoretical results of GMM kernel. So under certain data assumptions, as the data dimensionality increases, the GMM similarity converges uh, to a function of the cosine similarity of the data, which which is given in this formula. So this result was presented in the web conference. 2017. So, so, so far we have shown uh, the great learning performance of GMM kernel. However, it is well known that uh, it is infeasible to materialize or store the full kernel matrix in the kernel methods for even moderate data. So for example, if we have 1 million data points, which is quite small compared to the data scale nowadays, then we will need 10 billion uh, kernel computations to form the full kernel matrix and use it in kernel methods. So this uh, is too expensive in practice for most applications. So in this context, hashing algorithms are popular for linearizing the nonlinear kernels. And the min-max kernel is typically linearized by the method called consistent weighted sampling, or CWS in short. So in this paper, we develop an extremal process algorithm 
which is closely related to CWS. So the formal definition of CWS is given in this algorithm. So basically, uh, for each non-zero entry VI, we generate uh, TI and AI using some random numbers. And the output hash sample is a two-dimensional tuple. And the first element, I star, is the argument of the AI. And the second element, T star, is defined as T I star. So to construct a, a Jacquard estimator, we repeat the CWS procedure for k times on two vectors v and w, and then we can estimate the Jacquard similarity by the collision count of the hash samples between v and w. So note that here, the standard estimator requires that both hash samples to be the same. And in practice, uh, one can safely ignore the second hash sample T star and only use the fill bits to, to represent the first hash sample I star. Um, so basically, you can only store the last fill bits of uh, I star and then can transform uh, each data sample into a binary feature vector. And then we can use this new feature vector for classification, regression, and etc. And on the other hand, repeating the CWS procedure for k times may also be very time consuming in practice. We proposed uh, the beamwise CWS method to resolve this issue. So basically, we randomly group a data set of D columns evenly into k beams, then we conduct CWS within each beam. Okay. So in this way, we only need to process each data vector once, so the CWS procedure can be significantly accelerated. So despite that we have made great effort uh, to make CWS practical, it still has some issues that can be further improved. Firstly, the zero-bit CWS variant is practically very convenient but it's only purely empirical. Secondly, the CWS algorithm appears very complicated, so it is very difficult for theoretical analysis. And lastly, the floating point operations in CWS slows down the algorithm. Recall that in CWS, we will need to do some floor uh, division and uh, logarithm operations. So this might be slow in practical systems. So to better understand the idea of CWS, we start with integer weight, integer case. So suppose the weight of V and W uh, is uh, integer. So if we, for each unit J on VI, we generate ID random variable ZIJ and set the hash sample as the arg mean of ZIJ and we can show that this procedure will output an, an unbiased Jacquard estimator. That means that uh, this sampling procedure is correct, non-biased. So to extend this, this idea to real ways, we can approximate real values using integers. That is, we discretize real weights into many small pieces with granularity delta and uh, similarly, we can also generate ID random variables for each small unit. And if we push delta uh, to go to zero, then we can use this procedure to, work, to approximate any real weight. So this is the uh, idea of uh, CWS. And in this procedure, for each VI actually we only need to keep track of the value and location of the, of the moving minimum. So now, if we consider Y defined as one over Z, that means that we only need to keep track of the maximum of Y. And if we use, we let the random variables uh, follow an exponential distribution, then we can show that uh, the, the CDF of Y can be computed in this equation. And this formulation 
exactly characterizes an extremal process. So I will skip the detailed uh, definition of the extremal process, but the, the takeaway message is uh, in CWS, we intrinsically construct an extremal process of type one and then reverse the process by taking the reciprocal. So uh, in practice, we can simulate extremal processes using this algorithm. And once we have the simulated processes, we can use them to uh, design a hashing algorithm. So we call it extremal, extremal sampling. So the output is also a two-dimensional tuple consisting of I star and T star. But the idea is that for each uh, data dimension, we generate an extremal process. So we have X1 to XD, D extremal processes. And then we find the maximum of uh, XI, VI, and set the index uh, as the I star. And we said the second has simple T star as its last jump time. So similarly, you can define the E as the current estimator as the collision count of the hash samples. And uh, we can also define the relaxed ES estimator by dropping the second hash sample and only looking at I stars. And recall that for CWS, this relaxed estimator is difficult to analyze. And for ES, firstly, we show that the standard ES estimator is correct uh, as it's uh, unbiased. And more importantly, uh, the, the collision probability of the relaxed ES estimator can be precisely uh, computed in this way. So the estimation bias is given by RVW here. And actually we see that it's a quite elegant uh, form. So based, on what we, based on our results, uh, we, we can show that for binary data and uh, non-overlapping data where VI equals to zero whenever WI is not zero and vice versa, the bias of relaxed ES estimator is zero. And for proportional data, which in some sense can be considered as the worst case, where WI equals to CVI for all i's and C is some constant greater than one, we show that the bias of relaxed ES is uh, at the order of C minus one over C times one over D. In general, the bias of relaxed ES is small when the data vectors have a similar scale and the data is not extremely sparse. So in words, relaxed EX will work well in practical meaningful scenarios. So we would like to uh, uh, remark that this is the first result in literature uh, that theoretically characterize the behavior of the relaxed or the zero bit uh, consistent with these sampling methods. So here's some numerical validation of our theoretical results. So we see that in the very extreme case where C goes to 100, uh, we can, the, uh, the mean square error of relaxed ES is still very close uh, to the full ES estimator. And from our experiments on four public data sets, we see that the square error of pairwise to current estimation of CWS standard ES and the relaxed ES are very close to each other. Furthermore, uh, ES has also, also has some uh, improvement in efficiency compared with CWS because it only involves table lookup operation where CWS performs many uh, complicated mathematical operations. So basically you see that the ES can be two times faster than CWS. So in conclusion, in this paper, we show that CWS is closely related to extremal process. And then we propose to directly generate extremal processes for hashing jacquard called ES algorithm. And we are able to rigorously prove the collision probability for relaxed ES. ES avoids floating point numerical operations in CWS and hence can be noticeably faster than CWS.